Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be bringing you a short little video on RuneScape interfaces, how to set them up, um, move them around, edit them, and make them exactly how you want them. So you're going to see a lot of stuff on the screen right now and it might be really small for you. The first thing you have to know about the interfaces is they are exactly the same amount of pixels no matter what your screen resolution is. So I have a 1440p monitor. so they are always the same amount of pixels across so that means that I can fit more interfaces on my screen. Now if you have a 1080p monitor um, or even smaller than that that's okay you can move these around how you want them. Uh, you'll just be able to fit less interfaces on your screen which is okay. Um, and even if you have a 1440p monitor this might be a lot to take in. Um, it's just kind of how I have everything set up. So to start with you'll see I have no bars at all on my screen. There's no way to move them and there's no like things telling you what everything is. So to start with, you're going to want to find this menu here. This is able to pull up all of your different um, like menus, I suppose. Uh, by clicking on them, you can also open up more interfaces by dragging over here and clicking. And you see that's opening and closing my quest list. Uh, I can get rid of my um, equipment here. And there's lots of things you can do here, but you want to locate this little thing that's right here. It's the lock, and you can lock and unlock it to allow to move things around. Uh, so whenever you have a menu, it's just really easy to drag and move them around. They kind of snap together, so sometimes you have to play around to get them to fit where you want them to. Um, and there's some menus like this, the uh, action bar, where you can, if you drag it a certain way, you can get it to go to different sizes but they're preset, you can't drag them around like a normal interface. And you can also do that with this. Um, I don't really know what to call it, but you can also, it's a little hard to get to go, but you can make it uh, these four different sizes as well, so you can fit them how you want them to go. So if you hit escape, you get a couple different options here. Firstly, you can go to game settings, and one thing you can do is click on legacy interface mode, and that will bring you to like a 2012 version of the game as far as your interfaces, which is pretty cool. Uh, you also have access to legacy combat mode here. Um, but this is really good if you're just wanting to AFK and play a different game because you can fit everything on, you know, your screen. You can minimize it. You know, it's all fine. Um, there's the action bar settings here, which is you can see I have four extra action bars here on my screen. Uh, you can. Uh, pull them up and put them over here and you can actually customize them to yeah, your key settings I don't have that on this account on my main account I have them set up to across my whole keyboard and I have lots of skilling things um, things to drop like I have surge on my bars over here and I just haven't set it up on my hard car yet because I don't have access to all my abilities and all that stuff yet and that is basically uh, some of the only interface settings in gameplay now, hitting escape again and hitting interface settings, you can also, if you're already in your settings, go across here. Uh, you go to interfaces, if you hit slim headers, uh, that is going to, as you can see here, hide your titles of everything, which is very good to make it more um, clean looking. And you can also click this, well, let me lock it really quick to show you. So this is hide title bars when locked, which it just basically gives you a little bit more space and realty and makes it a little bit cleaner. You have access to your transparency, which you can make it so you can see all the way through. Um, I actually don't have the game behind these interfaces, so I'll be able to show you how to do that later. Uh, it just makes it so you can see your whole game and it's always centered in like your gameplay area, I suppose, because I have it set up with this like sweeping L. Uh, you can click all these options if you want to see like the Slayer counter, where the well, not where the clock is, but you can see the clock. You can lock your backpack to have a certain amount of columns, um, or you can have it dynamic where it will basically try to fit into whatever space you have. And that's kind of it in there. You can hit edit mode from this, or you can just hit escape and click edit mode. And I'm going to be going into that. Now, once you have everything set up pretty good, I like to do the L thing because of where I put my game, which I'll show you in a second. You can quick save your um, your loadout here, 
Uh, and then you can always just load it up. Like I have this loadout, which probably looks really weird, but when I'm on a smaller screen, it's really nice. Um, yeah, it probably looks really weird on this screen setting, but that's okay. So we can go ahead and reload our layout number one. So now if we hit edit mode, we get lots of options here. So we get this mini game HUD, which whenever you have a mini game up, this is where the HUD's gonna be and you can move it around. So if I want it over here and I want it to be like that size, whenever the mini games are up with their HUD, it's gonna be over here. And gameplay HUDs, you can see all of your gameplays. Like for example, here's my bank. I have a big screen, so I want to be have my bank all the way at the top of my screen and I want it to be very long. Uh, game dialogue, I want this to be over here because that's where my chat is nearest, so whenever people are talking to me, I can see it over here. Uh, let's see, debugs, I want my debugs over here near my action bar because that's where I'm kind of looking when I'm PVNing, is if I want to look at something, I see my action bars here and my equipment and inventory over here, so I want my debugs and buffs to be right here. And there's lots of other stuff you can move around and look at, like here's the boss timer, you have your grave timer, and you also have your slayer counter and clock, which it's kind of hard to get right. It takes a couple tries. Uh, like this doesn't look like it's correct, but when I actually go back out of this setting, it will look correct. And then the final option is you have this 3D world editing, which basically creates your game as an interface. If I move some of these interfaces out of here, I think I'll need to move all three of these. You can see I can grab the game and actually move it and make it smaller or bigger. And that allows you to center it in between all of your interfaces and make it look nice and pretty, basically. So that is that. It's basically a very quick and easy way to edit your um, interfaces. You can move them around, like I said. You're going to want to open them up with uh, this little menu here. And just the way I have it set up is I have my chat over here along with my skills. This is my uh, area where I have like all of my abilities that I can look at. I have my action bars here. I have my prayers here. This is just a quest list and notes just to fill the space. If you have like rune metrics or something like that, you could put it here. This is my summoning familiar inventory because you can actually see the inventory and just uh, take right from it like here. I don't have a familiar on this account yet, so I can't show you that. This is my inventory. I have all of these menus tucked away here if I ever need them. I can also access them by hitting one, two, three, or F1, two, three, four, five, etc. I have my equipment here, my friends, friends chat, and clan is here, and my um, mini maps up in the corner along with my um, XP tracker, which you can also move around. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. I didn't really plan this video out. I was just trying to show you guys some tips and tricks on setting up your interfaces in RS3 and trying to get the most out of it without having to, you know, have it look horrible and like have things blocking your screen. Like you don't want, you know, like if I had my game uh, filling up the whole screen and my interfaces were over, I'd be missing like out on like this much of the game right here. And it, my character would never be centered. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe and leave a like. And I'll see you guys with the next Hardcore Iron Man video here. Uh, I have school starting uh, today, so I actually didn't get uh, any progress done. And I probably won't be getting progress done for the first week just because I'm trying to get used to my classes and stuff. I'm taking like well over like 25 uh, semester credits. So I will see you guys in the next video here, um, hopefully sometime this week.